eye patch off here and hit those and see what we're looking at. Have you, um, have you been like, I'm sorry. How is your vision through the eye? Um, I mean, it's a little, it feels a little foggy. It, I didn't get behind the wheel because I knew, knew better. Um, but it feels a little foggy, but it's like, it's almost like, like a hay fever when I have allergies. It, that's what it feels like. It's just okay. like, it's like a little blurry, but it feels like it'll go. It's not like something that feels permanent. Blurry, kind of like you want to rub your eye. And yeah, that's and what I want to rub my eye, but I, I, I'm like, I'm holding myself off from doing it. And on top what? of that, it's. Yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to, what's going on. And it, it feels like, you know, when you wake up from like sleep for like too short of a nap and then you oh. like, both eyes don't yes. seem to be like syncing up. Yeah. That's what it feels like right now. Like, I feel like it's going to be something I'm going to do. It doesn't, it doesn't, I'm not concerned with it. That makes sense. Honestly, man, give it one more day and I think you'll be mm -hmm. good. This, that's uh, what this I'm is, anticipating. Yeah, kind of right on par time timeline wise. This mm -hmm. is like right up, kind of what we expected. The, uh, about I mean, I don't hours. even know why. Like, no, no painkillers. I'm not a painkiller type of person. I just don't feel any. I mean, I just feel sore. I feel sore. And uh, th that's what I was gonna bring up. Is the sweat for this is so minor? Yeah. Right I, now, like, like I, I don't I, even I, notice it. Honestly, I, <laughs> it's the, like barely even like uh inflamed like there's just it's i don't know you usually with a surgery like this the, your the like half your face would be swollen like... for like <laughs> yeah 100 yeah. percent. that's that's exactly what what's happening so the dna synthesis that's happening and and jeffy you can probably speak to this better than i can right as the surgeon uh would have started to engraft almost immediately um, uh yeah we uh we did we did the procedure and we got um got everything in place and we gave it um a, a, a 10, 10 minute window while we mm -hmm. uh, like assessed everything and, and and cleaned up and got everything in in order on our end and i see and, and, and during during this i felt like oh there just wasn't like i, mean, I guess it's more of a feeling thing on my end, just didn't feel like this was gonna be like you have like an, an immense amount of swelling, if that makes sense. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but it was uh, something something crazy to see, and I'm actually incredibly impressed to see how act. Oh, well, like, I mean, Sloan everything. could tell me, Sloan could explain to me everything <laughs> about. This. Tell, tell he's blue the fucking face, right? And I'll believe him and I'll hear seeing it. No pun intended. Kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm very satisfied with it, obviously. I'm not going to be uh, complaining about how successful it is, but it, no, it, sure. it does take kind of, kind of, puts me off a little bit. Oh. I mean, honestly, man, like the, the longest part of the recovery time here is just like the surgical incisions, right? The, the yeah. eye part itself i mean it's it's clearly doing its work right i mean this is again first of its kind uh never before in the history of all of mankind have we been able to say that an engrafting of an eye has been possible outside of technology right so for this to be yeah. something that doesn't feel foreign is just astonishing yeah it's yeah uh, you're you are history standing yeah walking, sitting. oh yeah i'm the one dollar man oh yeah so man, I'm, gonna, you, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna i'm gonna set a price and be like that's how that's it costs for my eye i mean if, the, if you want to know the the math behind it uh even though the cost didn't get passed on to you it it's been about 1.8 million dollars in development jesus christ Okay. Oh, I'm the one eight million dollar man. There you go. Right, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hold it down. You can ease yourself off off the bed, my guy. You're good. All right, all right. This I, is uh, like, like right on par for what we're doing and everything as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, take it easy the next uh, like the rest of today. 
see how mm -hmm. see how you're doing by tomorrow yeah, evening. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna lounge around, hang out. Hell yeah. But holy shit, man, you're looking good. Everything's right. everything's doing Thank well. You. Oh, yeah, yeah man we've we've crossed into like the third tier so so max uh and i don't know if you saw the the table for this but like the first hour to three hours is the point at which like your blood vessels are reconnecting you've got cell replication happening there's like that's all the science behind it uh within the first 48 to 72 hours and this is where we're just coming out of so the timing of this is kind of perfect is where you get full circulation you start to have this blurry vision and then over the next like four to seven days, the surgical site will heal, will heal uh, which is, I mean, there's there's uh, cell replication that's happening to make this even faster uh, just for the surgical site. And that's part of the synthetic skin that this is based in. Uh, and yeah. your optic nerve is gonna be fully stimulated. Uh, and, and again, that nerve is gonna be like mostly healed. Uh, you'll have full vision, literally. You can wake up tomorrow, uh, have full vision, and it'll be, you know, perfect. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't like see this table, but it, it's crazy how accurate it is. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. it's like scary accurate. It, I, it, yeah, I mean, true, I'm truly, impressed. it's it's astonishing. And and again, it's it's like uh, these are these are kind of like expected timelines based on what the research should show. So so for me, like the scientists behind it, I'm I'm blown away at the fact that it's it's right it right worked. here dead on time frame uh and then yeah like full healing and like t we we say 10 to 21 days it could take longer uh but that's mostly just you know like do you still have any discomfort any sensitivity in your eye mm -hmm. um I, I mean at this rate it seems like you're going to be kind of like right there in that center kind of point i would imagine this time next week man you'll be feeling like 100 a million bucks 1.8 million bucks 1.8 dollars hell yeah right I, yeah I feel, I feel good right now like i feel I'm, i feel like i've been through way worse than this pain right now i, I would say i'm at like a maybe a two or three out of ten every now and then you wow aching feeling but you know mm -hmm. i just score like, I just I, feel like I, I, if anything that's if anything that's gonna be like your like um like Sloan was saying that's gonna be your like the surgical science that's gonna be like the incision mm -hmm. and stuff Yes, the, yeah, the actual yeah. eye itself probably isn't hurting that. I do it. No, that's what that's what I'm saying. It's, it yeah, it yeah. feels so weird because like I feel like it's my eye. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel weird. I don't feel like I covered up and just in a not some weird AI reaction. I just feel like I just feel like I got punched in the face and maybe the knuckle my eye a little bit deeper than like the, the hand, but like it didn't poke. I didn't damage it. It just I feel a little blur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Which crazy. is also a, a unique thing for you because I guess the, one of the few people, maybe the only person who knows what it's like to feel not having your eye and then to have it gone and feel your eye again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not That's not a... probably 100%. You're the only person who's ever experienced that sensation before. Yeah. Uh, though yeah. there are others who want to. And I mean, uh, I think. I mean, yeah. Yeah, this, this is, is going to be a. It's some, something that you know like once once you're back in action all the way man like let's let's uh if you're down with it let's do like a um like a debrief some kind of i, I would love to do like a case study that we can we can talk about the success maybe do it uh, oh 100 percent. yeah down. i think that that would be just something that's that's like a the, the 1.8 million dollar man we'll, that's what we'll call it <laughs> hell yeah i think that you could like so Al, you have this scar on your face, right? Do you think that you could do like skin grafting with the same genetic replications that you do with the Yeah. So so I'm that's thinking the applications here. You could really fix people, like no matter what position. Like Bucky, he's missing. I mean, I, he probably would not want to keep his metal arm. Yeah, he's honest, he's got the the but super. You get what I'm saying, like <laughs> yeah, you, you could literally give people limbs. Damn. That's just crazy to me. Because I was working at the rec. And some dude wanted food, and I said no, and he threw acid in me. Like, Jeez. yeah, this is this is Alex Yang. She's one of my uh, one of my more OG security from the Roosters Rest and with CBPD. She's yeah. so my car took me down to I think it was Pil Pilbot at Pil the time, and Pilbot helped me out and got mm -hmm. um, all the like scarring and everything fixed and bruises and what whatnot and and he said like if i didn't have sunglasses i i could have 
uh, ended like, up with yeah lost your eye it, yep uh, i was i was a bit lucky there yeah well it's it max it's funny that you asked that question because yes uh and and actually it's it's a surprise to me that we moved forward with um the eye first I never thought that this would be the direction it would take in the city. I, I figured we would have started yeah. with the graphs because it's a little yeah. less invasive. Be, yeah, um, I, I, thinking of how it makes more sense, but fuck yeah, it. I mean, you've, you've crossed that line already. Like you, right? We we were there. It's not going to be an issue, you know. Yeah, and and so so the the eye is based on the fundamental technology that we would use, Alex, in your case, uh, to mm -hmm. basically regraft the the damaged areas. Uh, and that was kind of the original goal was uh, regrafts, uh, for lack of better phrasing. Uh, but yeah, um, just kind of give you some more information on probably how that would look. Uh, yeah. Basically, it would be like a like almost kind of like a plastic surgery kind of scenario. You know, it's an elective surgery. You'd come in. Uh, you know, if, if Jeffy or any of the other doctors wanted to, you know, take this on. But basically, what they would do is um, just cut away the scar tissue that's there in graft okay. with one of our synthetic okay. grafts. Uh, and same kind of thing. The time frame on recovery is, is like hours and days compared to months and years. Uh, and then by the end of it, you would notice no difference. It, it grafts perfectly mm -hmm. and pigments perfectly to your existing skin, uh, using it's a process yeah, we, we call so DNA crazy synthesis. Mm -hmm. That you can do that. Wow. Yeah, I have uh, I have a bunch of documentation. Uh, we're trying to get printed up in the city, but the printers are down currently. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, I would love to like show a brochure on how it works. Uh, Max, I'll I'll send you the video actually. Of uh, I was gonna say we never got to watch that. I'm down to watch that. Yeah, it's uh it's it's dope, man. Uh, kind of talks about the procedure you went through, and then uh, kind of what you expect for recovery times and stuff. But I think you're there already, so. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'd like to, one more to twenty four more hours. Literally, wake up tomorrow, and I, I feel yeah, like you'll be, you'll yeah. It, it honestly isn't going to be very long. It's one of those things. It hurts. It hurts now, but you know you're okay. Ooh, yeah, well, I want to see this. Yeah, so there's there's three things you'll see there. Uh, the okay. first is is just the image that the tech is based on. This is kind of like the blueprint schematic that we originally designed. Uh, the second is the YouTube link that that shows the actual process. Uh, so Max, that's what you can kind of take a look at. And then the third is the documentation that I was referencing. And it talks about the, both the synthetic, synthetic skin has the tables and everything in there. Uh, this wasn't in any of the stuff that I showed you, but obviously it's here. Uh, and then Alex, I've got the, um, the synthetic skin blueprint as well, if that's something you'd want to see. Oh, yes, if you have. There you go. Let's take a look at that one. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm going to check the video out. Chat, the video is up on YouTube, my YouTube. You're more than welcome to go check it out. It's like a three minute long kind of, I used a bunch of clips from Envato Elements to basically create the pseudoscience wow. of how the surgery works. It looks amazing. Yeah, so so just looking at the uh, top right corner there, uh, where the damaged tissue to the healed yeah. area, yeah. like you can, you can see in, in its most, basic format right you can see where it went from being damaged to the graft to yeah. nothing you see nothing Healed. yeah you see mm -hmm. nothing especially you see it on the hand mm -hmm. and, yeah wow this is what we're looking at chat and um these things here uh I looked at these and I looked over the ones with the eye countless times studying everything I could believing Sloan right about the, the healing 
process and the the time frame and everything seeing it actually shake out i doubt this man for another second i appreciate that so, man so every everything thing i you could wholeheartedly do. would you give you would you give some your left hand <laughs> I'm, I'm less uh yeah less less inclined to take more inclined to give yeah <laughs> but this is amazing actually hello yeah i i honestly i'm we, we've got a, a couple meetings that we need to have with the um lsmg executive staff uh kind of talk mm -hmm. through them uh talk them through the process that we went through with max uh, honestly, yeah. the success that this has been, uh, and then is Max your first pa patient? Max is the first patient, yeah. Wow. Yeah, hence the one point eight million dollar man. He uh, like the actual cost to develop is much less, but like this is about eight years in the making. So yeah, it's a it's a long time coming. How is it, Max? Be the eighth one million dollar man. It feels video. crazy. Yeah, I've got a few more, few more seconds of the video. It feels crazy though. We got that, guys. I'm okay. All right, man. Okay. Yeah, but um, if you have time ever to look at uh, my scarring or my mm -hmm. yeah, um, I'm I'm totally down for it. Awesome. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, what we'd probably want to do is you know, figure out which doctor would want to be the the surgeon. Uh, we'll do a, mm -hmm. a consultation, kind of like we did with Max. Obviously, yeah. not quite as invasive because we're not having to check like sight. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. But... I mean, it wasn't invasive to begin with, but yeah, I'm doing like testing and stuff like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So doing doing a consult, getting something scheduled, and then yeah. Um, so the the way this kind of uh, Alex, just for your recognition on on process. Uh, it's really, I mean, as far as like invasiveness goes, very uninvasive, um, compared to even just a regular skin grafting process, right? I mean, when you had the, the accident originally or the, the acid splash on you originally, right? The process of healing from that can take a long time, can be extremely painful. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So killers and stuff. Right. Uh, this, this on the other hand, I mean, obviously we want to ensure you still got painkillers if, if you need them. But, uh, the, yeah, uh, the, like, like Max said, like the, the process that's happening kind of behind the scenes, the stuff that you don't see, but maybe we'll just feel is, mm -hmm. um, that engrafting process where we're like suddenly where, and, and let me, let me ask this question right now where you have that scarring, does it feel like tight? Does it feel like, do you experience any discomfort mm -hmm. currently? Uh, it's, I, I can feel it when I like stuff in you know mm -hmm. it uh it's like it's a little bit tighter than my my mm -hmm. not scarred half um, but other than that you know, I, yeah it happened to like i think four months ago so at this time pain or what i'm feeling it yeah you it probably been, yeah just uh, <laughs> you're used to it use it now but yeah yeah, I, I mean the the whole concept of any of this stuff is like just improving patient quality of life. That's the goal, right? You want to, yeah. you know, um, the 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 original use case for this was very different, but its application now is is again right, this kind of like replacement rather than plastic surgery, rather than having to use uh, like even a graft from your yourself, right? So like the typical yeah. graft process. Yeah, because it mm -hmm. healed, but was big, but I, that I could move skin from my leg mm -hmm. up to my face to maybe make the scarring a little bit less yep um but yeah we didn't proceed with that because then i would have a scar on my leg on your leg or, yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah. we just move my scarring to another place yeah and and that's so that's exactly how a skin graft works right so you're you're having to take from a donor site in in which case it could be from from the fatty part of your leg or from uh mm -hmm. your your glutes um sometimes they do what's called a xenograft or an autograft which can be from uh another donor uh or in some cases actually i think this has happened just a few times i don't know if, if it's happened in los santos but you can use things like um 
core sign uh, graphs, like pig, pig skin grafting. Oh, yeah. uh, just like you can use pig heart valves because exactly, the, yeah, the anatomy is that. so close. Um, yeah. So we're trying to find a way in which, and actually this is what all, like part of the reason we're doing these things now, the testing for this stuff now is because an eye, though very invasive is, I mean, you're recovering sight, but what mm -hmm. happens when someone um, needs a heart transplant yeah. or is shot in the liver uh, and, and you're in desperate need of a donor? Um, we have to unfortunately take from somebody who's dying uh, in, in the case of like a heart transplant. And even then, heart transplants only last a limited number of years, right? The body eventually yeah, is likely yeah, to reject it. they're not it. guaranteed because the, mm -hmm. the body can push away the heart, not accept it. Exactly. Yeah, you, it, after a heart transplant, you're on prescription medication for the rest of your life. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, so this technology, for lack of better phrasing, this ad advancement in medical science is probably the more appropriate way to discuss it these synthetics are uh designed to replace that process and take the burden off of the patient long term right obviously you have some short term mm -hmm. that you have to recover and keep seeing a physician to ensure things are fine but yeah but but long term you're not you're not gonna have to have a uh, surgery every six years uh, you're not gonna have to oh. wait for another replacement all yeah. the time your your quality of life goes up significantly so so Max, for example, will he mm -hmm. get his sight back, like, one hundred? Oh, I so I, I took I didn't have an eye patch on a few minutes ago before I came mm -hmm. down here, and um, it was just blurry. It was blurry, but I could see out of the eye, I see oh. what was going on, but it was blurry. Yeah. Like if you held end up, I could be like, oh, it looks like you have three or four fingers up, right? It wouldn't be completely accurate, but I could see out of it. Yes. Yeah, I, I honestly expect either, either tomorrow or, or Monday uh, when you wake up, man, you'll you'll wake up and and will be astonished by the fact that suddenly you have yeah, full vision. vision again. It's yeah. crazy. So you'll look at the at the ceiling of your apartment and, and just be like, what what is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Imagine you wake up, and you're able to see again. <laughs> yeah, and not not have like an AI eyeball yeah. trying to attack exactly. you. Yeah, <laughs> Ang yeah, angry right. at you. Yeah. Yeah, just removing that. By the way, was everything smooth? I don't know how Roman Shack got it in there. I just he did a thing, <laughs> and I heard a lot of noise. That was that because he didn't put me under. Oh, um, I'm sorry. What was your question again? Um, how was getting the other eye out? The, um, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't so much of an issue, but uh, Roman Shack's not a surgeon uh, by any mm. means. You oh. had a lot of issue. It looks oh, like. Oh, that's great. It, it was. Like to me, he just like jammed it in there almost. Oh god! A, oh my god! Uh, but you know, I'd I'd be interested in uh, seeing an X-ray or an MRI of of what your eye looks like. Uh, you know, in a couple days, just yeah, to see if even that scar tear, like yeah, like scar tissue, like this is one of the kind of like byproducts, itself. right? Could it? Well, I mean, the the synthetics could have yeah, healed that damaged area, the, right? Yeah, replicate the skin, mm -hmm. everything in the, the tissue in there, and yeah, it would be completely gone. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to get that scan done uh, tomorrow, even, even Monday, uh, it'd be perfect. Yeah, maybe uh, Monday would be the best. Like, let me see how I'm feeling tomorrow. If I'm f full mm -hmm. vision, I might come back tomorrow and, and let it happen, but... Yeah. Yeah, give yourself some time I, to rest. I wanted <laughs> to get these, get these results to be the best for you guys, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just working off the we're just off the timetable, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, holy shit. Yeah, it's actually I put crazy. an eye in your head. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's the most nuts, bro right? response. <laughs> Yo, I put a I put an eye in your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's like ultimate Chad, Chad move right there's like oh, I just right. called an eye in your fucking head, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh yeah, we could, sit, uh, we could sit and talk like in metaphors about everything. Yeah. Happens, but like you know, it, I anyway, fucking I put, put an, an eye in your head, head, bro. That's bro. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's it's. Uh, I'm excited for for what this is gonna mean for the greater population, right? And there are so many people who are in both of your kind of condition, right? Where they have 
scarring residual from and, and I'll, I'll even just use the example of like unfortunate explosions right that seem to happen um people who are <laughs> yeah far too silly. often i uh, was having a conversation with another doctor just a, a few weeks ago who was saying that overnight they were um in a position where they ran out of the ability to graft from the the person that had so much damage it was like 70 percent coverage and in, in burn uh oh, which means you can only graft so much uh and and uh the possible use case that would be this kind of application for that patient to not have to pull away again from their leg or from from uh, you know their glutes or whatever remaining tissue there is when I mean, you think about 70 percent trying to cover that amount of your body it's just we had a, we had a case um not three days ago someone being horribly burned across their face and they had to take <laughs> what the Dr. Madden so kindly described as an ass face. Uh, oh, no. Not yeah. the ass face. That's what I described it. I mean, I guess that's kind of what you end up being after you graft from your butt. It is. It is. Ooh. Yeah, not not anymore. Now, now it'll be synth face, I guess. Kind of sick, though. What's up, Synth like Face? A, I'm Ripper Doc. <laughs> Cyberpunk. What up, Ass Face? <laughs> yeah. Calling some people now. Yeah, that's all, that's all something that ends. I need to. Uh, and and you'll see this on the documentation there, Jeffy. Is that there's a whole section that talks about what these are and what these aren't because I think there's so much confusion about like when when you say the word like bionics, right? Mm -hmm. that that carries with it this cyberpunk kind of mentality but bionics is just the study of of how parts of biology work um and it's because there has been like a misuse of that term for the last 30 years uh so trying not to use the kind of phrasing that scares people into thinking it could be like robot tech or, or cyberpunk exactly, tech. Yeah. no i mean this is this is the biosynthetic kind of organ like organic material right this is for all intents and purposes, part of a human body that was created in a lab versus in a womb. I think that is what uh, Dr. Blake got confused on in Sloan about that later. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's why I've expanded on the documentation a little bit so he can be assured that that's mm -hmm. not what this is. Yeah, if, like if I had if I had any concerns that anything couldn't like proper like whatever zooms when you when you mention budgie you know like uh robot eyes or shit on it i wouldn't have touched it <laughs> like, I would, right like, <laughs> and we're and we're, not, we're we're trying to undo that in this case. yeah i, I mean <laughs> max, max had a ro like an angry robot <laughs> ai yeah. it's kind of kind of a feeling i believe i are completely gone the word used to describe it in the report was in the world was the really the descriptor for the eye <laughs> did you guys just like throw it away or what did you do with it i don't want it you... uh okay, good, yeah. yeah so the whole intention and part of i'm realizing it do, do you know roman Shax has a mother in the city i did not know that mm -hmm. yeah i didn't know that i barely I even knew roman Shax before i got the iron yeah. Oh my god, but where did you find this dude to give he you the eye he was at the hospital when i yellow when... pages <laughs> no, I, was, I was like literally was at the hospital and he was there. Yeah, it, it's like he waits for these moments or something because he was just waiting there. And I got out of ICU from getting shot down in the helicopter, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Yeah, I can, uh, you know, I can hook you up with an eyeball." Just like, like that, he had an yeah. extra eyeball. Well, he it's his business apparently. He was yeah, replacing people's body parts for like I don't know how long before he died. And and the damage that was done by this dude is huge in the city oh um, yeah no he was a madman yeah i mean true truly mad scientist is like the closest kind of explanation i can give but I've, I've been working with his mother uh because she has a version of the nanites that he released as a plague on the city but hers aren't doing the same thing that all the others did mm -hmm. um so i've i've been working with her to ensure that she's gonna be fine because long term we don't know what the implications are of something like viscous blood from from nanites 
Uh, Ugh, that's a disgusting. Thing it, it's a about. terrible I go, thought. Yeah. I go check on food delivery right. at the moment. But yeah, I I have been avidly working to undo some of the damage that he's done, um, and I keep finding people who are. I guess just have random things that that have happened to them. Oh my god! I'm so happy I met Pilbot when I got my car on my accident. Oh yeah, Pilbot's a whiz. You should put out a yeah. class act to like a. Have you been affected by a Roman shack? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who, who would you sue? The, the guy's dead. Be... <laughs> I'm city. What is up? Yeah, if, if you or if you or a loved one was a fact by Roman Shacks, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess like the the most reasonable possible solution to that would be like if you put out that kind of notice that like, hey, we're working, we're actively working on yeah, technology that can, you. yeah, I, I mean, I guess, uh, but you know, we're we're not really, I'm not trying to turn this into like an extremely lucrative business. You know, I don't need to make millions in the city or anything like that. We're we're doing this basically at near cost. Um, just because the city needs it. I just want to make sure people can live the quality of life that they want in the city without having to deal yeah. with yeah. fallout for months or years or indefinitely. I like that. That's a good approach to it. Certainly hope so. I yeah, got a good team. Of I'm, I'm glad uh I'm glad that you fake imagine your old ball would like act out the way you I don't know I mean imagine how long the eye patch on for is to keep it covered right? mm -hmm. that's how I was with it you should also yeah. I don't know if I told you I don't know if I even mentioned this to anyone here when I disconnected the eye it like said I awful like shutting down or something it, it mounts oh my god oh made my me god wait what oh what yeah a fuck your wow. eye wow oh okay um maybe your eye was a virus that's what i'm getting at it never caused any problems that i noticed yeah like but before i do away with it <laughs> as a uh, as bunny so politely put it or i guess it was dr mercy uh throw it into the fires of mount doom before that happens <laughs> uh, I, I am doing a little bit of research to ensure that it's not gonna like have any residual stuff that you know before like i i don't want to be caught in a position where all of a sudden max down the line you're you're like oh i i still have this thing going on in my brain and we don't know what it's related to and you know we've destroyed the eye um, yeah. I don't assume that would happen right now that it's not there. It shouldn't have any kind of effects at all. I, I would hope yeah. that that would be the case, but on the off chance, I'm, I'm one of those kind of like keep it locked away in a, in a box. No one can access and then, uh, ensure that, uh, if, if there's ever a need, we can, we can, um, get back and do whatever kind of research is necessary. But I, I am of the mindset to deconstruct or, or unengineer, um, other people's technologies, especially when those people aren't around anymore. I'm, I'm means. I mean, I can't. I can't even complain. Like, I'm not gonna ask for any money. I mean, I get a few grand for the operation stuff. The the hospital will cover everything else. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm not even gonna sweat the fact. That, like, I do not want it back. I don't any attachment to it as far as like emotionally. I do not Good. want it back. Yeah, you do what you need to do with it. I'm in. Part of me oh, wants yeah. to see the eye again, but at the same time, it scares me. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> this, this is this is one of those places I, I'm like, do, do we need to make an executive decision just to destroy it? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But that's the thing is, I never, I don't think I ever heard the eye make a noise more than it heard like the operation going on when I was put in bed. Like I. I don't know. Just I never heard it. I did. Odd that it made a noise when you pulled it out. Yeah. Damn. Science made to a, be crazy. Made like an announcement. Made me uncomfortable. We immediately threw that in the box and set it far away from you. Uh, yeah. And now, 
No, thank you. Can I throw in the fires of doom? Can I do that? Just like do, a, like do, do you want to? for me? Like I conquered, I threw the old eye away, put the new. If if that's one. what you want to do, then yes, we can go on a quest to. Hell yes. Uh, it won't actually be thrown into a fire, but we can we can we'll have cross a all of the reconstruction up, ceremony. Up we have to um, walk across yeah. San Andreas barefoot. That's what we barefoot. Do. I'm, yeah. I'm not. I am not putting us I'm in any sure kind of position yeah. where somebody could like rob us of an, an AI I mean, eyeball. I have to wear it around my neck. <laughs> and then it's God, you've watched too many someone, movies. <laughs> someone has to say, "I can't carry it for you, Mister Cold Iron. Can't carry you." And then carry the rest of the way. <laughs> Am, are you literally setting me up to be your Samwise right now? Yes, I am. Sloan. Yes, you're my Samwise. I'm Frodo. Sloan wise. <laughs> yes, you're the you're no. hero. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, it, it will not be like that. But we will we will do away with it if that's will what. We do a movie about it. No, <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. A series of books. As you, as you not only will we do a movie, <laughs> we'll do three. Yeah. <laughs> yes, three of them. We'll, we'll turn really it into an eight-part miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I don't need anything else from you, Max. You're good to go, yeah. man. Just call me next time you're around, either tomorrow evening or Monday, depending on what you're feeling. And we'll come get that. Yeah. And get that looked I'll, at. Um, I'll also keep patch on and i'll make sure i let you know if any uh feels out of the ordinary True. Yeah, man. i'll hold I mean, the check up it, i'll yeah. hold the checkup report off until until then and then to mention today then to next in the report that way we'll have a big thing all things documented ready to Hell ready yeah. to bring it broad scale i'm having to do more work on this than i've had to do since working at the hospital I would hope so. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I would hope this is more invasive than anything this else that's like normally occurs. It was the best, it was the best the report none. I've ever written. Uh, big fan. Blake was even like, Jeff, this is a, it was a lot, a lot of big words in there. It's like, I, I do this for a living, dude. <laughs> I'll also let you know, Max, that I, I titled the report for your procedure. I, see you oh yeah, yeah oh my god and yep. in two days uh or tomorrow you'll be able to say you see us that was that was pretty quick let's be that honest was good <laughs> that was no, fucking good, good. <laughs> so uh i got to get out of here yeah i'm oh, yeah. gonna run and do some stuff but uh, if you need anything, actually, so we should actually talk real quick. Yeah, we can do uh, that. About, about the All right. stuff. We, hey, thank you guys, and, and we'll, we'll be seeing you again soon. I'm yeah, sure yeah, Alex would be good. loving to yeah, get in contact with you guys to. about the yeah. mm -hmm. skin graft as well. Alex, yeah, yeah. Um, Alex, let me oh, give yeah. you my number real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, once we have it officially up in the in the city, we'll um, schedule some time. We'll try and do a consultation. The whole works. Don't know that it'll be me. Maybe Here's some other doctor. Too. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. All right. Yeah, yeah. So long, Jeff. You guys take care. Movie. Thank you. Be safe, Max. Oh yeah. If you need good, to, good to see you, Alex. Um, um... Oh, good. thank you. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> it. Roman this would be Gollum. Roman, Roman checks is Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think Bunny may have spoke to you a little bit about it. The whole uh, Blake situation. The, whole, the Blake situation, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, basically, I'm prepared to do a deep dive with him, uh, mm -hmm. trying to schedule some time next week probably to um, go over the paperwork. I'm going to show him the video. Uh, I'm working on, I actually have reworked the paperwork to include the what it is and what it's not. Uh, and then... Um, what you did you end up signing that uh contract Can you include a lot of pictures that might help pictures <laughs> yeah. uh well, i mean the video is is a moving picture uh oh, that's right i forgot about the video yeah i did also sign the document okay perfect so just just as a kind of like foundational i have created that as a coverall for both the products that you would be using from sas um like synthetics and then uh and i just use that term broadly 
and then also like the surgical procedure like the the waiver that he's signing that he knows he's getting a something for you uh currently uh, nancy nancy okay mm -hmm. is it osvaldo probably let's head to the back so you don't yell into the street yeah, yeah yeah let's do that Yeah, all that to say, like, I I understand his concern. Uh, first and foremost, though, we got approval from, from Shaw, right? This is not like a, this was happening in isolation. This this came on the heels of approval. Um, I understand he wants to be involved as necessary. Uh, if he needs to give us his sign-off, then I'm happy to do that. Um, but the, the contract covers the medical group. It covers you guys. It covers us. Um, we'll probably like if we end up doing this broad scale, would want to create a contract between the medical group and SAS to talk about like product delivery and expectations for for you know like quality of delivery and product and that kind of stuff. But I mean, for a first run, that's like let's not put the car before the horse. <laughs> uh, yes. At least this way, we've got. Um, all documentation like taken care of to ensure like Max is is not in any kind of position, nor does he want to sue us, right? Like that's not a. I understand Blake's concern because he's a he's a operations guy, but um, truthfully, this is this is not that kind of thing, right? Where if it was somebody I didn't know and hadn't worked with uh, and thought was being malicious, then then we'd have a very different conversation on our hands. We're not pushing this from that perspective, though. This is very much a um, only moving forward because it was somebody who is deeply interested. I've been having conversations with them for like three months. So it's it's like we were just bringing to fruition something that we talked about and we did it the right way, right? We weren't doing it in a back room lab somewhere with some not a surgeon. We're going about it to undo a city citywide worth of trauma yeah uh, those are gonna be the things that i'm trying to explain to him good good he'll be around uh either tomorrow if not tomorrow definitely monday the start of spirit week big stuff pajama day on monday very excited uh, about you it you guys actually do like high school level spirit week we're doing one uh we're doing one uh you know, to halloween uh just to boost morale. Is morale low? I, it hasn't been recently. Suddenly there. is. Horribly, horribly low, but uh, it's uh, recently uh, doctors have been up. Good. Doctors have been excited to be, which is great. Good. Uh, I'm going to let that go. Um, which is something that uh, has uh, been needed. I've been, uh, haven't been around. There probably won't be anyone once I leave here today, uh, for some time. What's up? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why the HUD is not you up. Yeah, but... Your face? Is it bad? Well, no, but you can also benefit from some things yeah my uh my scar huh well you said you also had some nerve damage i did some nerve damage yeah yeah um lost uh like a 20 percent vision my left eye hmm. so that's uh i could 100 percent benefit from this so this is part of the reason why i'm very interested in this and i uh, would like uh, it to be something that becomes a regular yeah. Uh, we'll obviously have to teach somebody else. Uh, yes. But, yeah. I, uh, it is, so, the vision loss, is that just from the, like, optic nerve damage, or is there, like, something actually underlying in the eye itself? Uh, like, orbital damage or corneal damage? I think, um, so, initially, it was... 
kid for vision loss. But okay. uh, over time, it's gotten worse. And uh, I fear it's only going to get worse. Like, there's not gonna, it's not going to plateau. Obviously, this kind of stuff doesn't just stop. Right. It's just going to deteriorate until uh, I inevitably lose all vision. So um, I, I guess the question is, if you don't know, yeah, would would you want to just replace the whole thing? Honestly, versus having sight or losing it, I'm losing sight. <laughs> I mean, as like, a surgeon, I would hope so. Yes. <laughs> kind of very important for me to eat <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a big deal yeah uh there is some testing that we would need to do first in case i need to create you some kind of custom thing mm-hmm. um obviously i think the, the process of having to remove an entire eye is very traumatic to a patient if you don't have to do it you shouldn't do it um if we could figure out what it was that was the underlying cause, I don't want to say exploratory surgery because that's definitely not the the route we'd want to take. But we do need to do some kind of um, research to figure out exactly what the re- like the root issue is. Um, something that I you know I, I put this in my notes and something that we'll need to like talk to Doctor Blake about. There are things that synthetics have limitations to. Specifically, like, A, you can't replace an entire brain. It's way too complex an organ to try and synthetically create a brain. It's not going to happen. You can create some cellular help to maybe, like, repair partial lobe damage, but you can't repair an entire brain. Um, You also can't solve underlying issues that a patient has. If you have cancer, you still have cancer. Um... Yes, we might be able to to replace. Let's let's say you've got you know pancreatic cancer or something. We might be able to help in the instance that you have to have surgery to remove part of your pancreas or all of your pancreas. Um, but we can't we can't help the fact that you would probably still have cancer cells in your body, right? The synthetics aren't going to go target cancer cells. They, they're there to basically act as a replacement for what might've been lost in a particular, more localized area. Uh, In your case, yes, there is clear damage. However, do you know if it's related to the damage or if there's some underlying issue? Um, I don't, I don't, I haven't had any like tests done. Um, I'm looking at the report from uh, six months ago from the injury. Um, the only thing listed here was that I was pierced. It was pierced. Yes. Hmm. Um, I, I have very little memory of this incident. This was uh, I was in the ICU for like four days. It was a it was a serial killer thing. It was a deputy for Bunny, uh, and. Uh, she had this whole thing with like tearing down the establishment uh, and was targeted from it. I was one of them. I was the only one around at the time. Yeah. And I was going home. Got snagged. Uh, in she kept me in a room for like three days. Uh, and I, I think I've varied most. I don't remember a lot of this, but. Yeah, my, my eye was damaged in the process. All right. For whatever things. So I'd have to... Uh, yeah, we need to we need to do a little research, which is fine. Yes. Uh, I, I don't think there's an ophthalmologist here. Uh, I don't think either. I know some residents have been put in uh, doing stuff like that, so maybe I'll reach out to some of them yeah. and give them the opportunity. Yeah, it'd be definitely... Uh, shake definitely be- Uh, if nothing else, uh, I think Harlow would be able to uh, to help. Okay. Yeah. 
Arlo's good. Mm -hmm. I, uh... Her her particular area of specialty is probably not too far off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I could uh, I could schedule a consultation with, and we could uh, figure some stuff out with that. Yeah, let's uh let's try and make that happen. Uh, I'd be interested to, at the very least, explore um what might be able to help you. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I also think I, I also think uh, sometimes when I get stressed, I have my eye a lot. Like I get pain in my eye, so I, don't, I really should. I've been meaning to see someone about that. We're just forcing that to happen. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you along, kicking and screaming. Okay. Uh, you get what? What else you got going on today, Sloan? Uh, honestly, this is it, man. Uh, I was gonna dip out of the city when you called me, or oh, when shit. I called you. So. Well, good. Good timing. Yep. 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 Good timing All indeed. Right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm actually probably gonna dip myself. Uh, head back to the apartment and get some stuff. I need. Same. Later this evening. I'm gonna drive my bike around just a little bit and then uh, head to the house. Hell yeah. All right, man. Well, look, I uh, very, very happy with how things are going with Max. Not that I didn't believe you, but it was kind of one of the things that, like, you know, it's, it's you, you can say it. True. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, I think right. for as far as, like, stuff goes in this city, man. Uh, oh, speak of the devil. Well, she shall appear. See the dead bodies at the morgue. Yeah, I'm going to feed. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Two of you. Dip, 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 dip. Stuff's so good. Would never have guessed. I mean, it's MA, I'm not surprised, honestly. It's almost like they just pronounced that they chewed it down. Crazy. You really yeah, want to help I actually really want to help. I, whenever we have actually to do shit, I always love doing it. You can observe just these and his friends. Probably get a helmet, huh? All right, y'all. It's gonna be a short stream, but wanted to get that done. I wish I would have thought about uh, getting on earlier so we could see the first part of the combo that I had with with Max. But basically, it was just like a, a catch up, check up kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so also, while we're on the topic, Dr. Blake didn't want to engage in uh, this, this type of surgery for whatever reason. I think it's because he thought it was going to be more robotic in nature. So I've got to have an appointment slash meeting with him uh, sometime next week. We'll call it here, though. Appreciate y'all. Be good. We'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully a good follow-up.